Hey YouTube, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac. Today what we're going to do, we're going to do some of the best fried egg sandwiches in the whole wide world. Yes indeed. But these are what we're going to need as far as the ingredients. You're going to need some of this right here. The um, spice mix and herb blend. Um, chili, pepper, and parsley and garlic. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do with this. You can find this if you can't find it nowhere else. You can find it at Ross. If you can't find this at Ross, go to TJ Maxx or something that's affiliated with those particular type of co um, companies that you can find these on their shelves. I'm telling you, um, I, I love going to Ross, finding different types of ingredients to try to make um, recipes and stuff with. So this right here is one that I'm going to use. Another one that I'm going to use, I'm going to use some of this here, um, garlic bread, spice blend, and I also found this at Ross. Telling you y'all, I'm making some of the best fried egg, fried egg, you hear what I just said, fried egg sandwich in the whole wide world. You're going to love this, trust me. Follow this recipe, you won't go wrong. Let's cook y'all. Alright y'all, so right now I got a non-stick non skillet on the stove. We got a little small one. And I'm going to put at least around about one tablespoon. That's what you're going to need. One tablespoon of butter in that there non-skillet. Move that thing around. Yeah, I know it's non-stick, but we're going to need this butter. Trust and believe me. There's a reason for this here madness. And I'm going to show you exactly the reason why we're going to do this right quick. So even with your butter melting just like it is right now, I'm taking two eggs. Y'all, I love two eggs. Bust it in there. Get it in there. Make sure ain't no shells in the pot. Once you've done that, move your shells to the side. Go ahead and crack your other egg. Bam. Get it in there. Yes, I got shells on my glove. And I'm making sure there's no shells in my pot. Once that's done, go ahead and just let these things cook up. But before we do that, we want to go ahead and bust the yolk. Yes, you bust the yolk, let it run, and then we're going to sit back, and we're going to wait for this madness to happen. But it's going down, y'all. But before we do anything else, we're going to go ahead and do this right quick. We're going to add us some salt. Salt to these here eggs, just a little bit. We don't need no, a lot of salt. That's all the salt we're going to need, all right? And that's the reason why we're going to use just that, a little amount of salt. But we're going to use the next thing we're going to add to this is some black pepper. Yes, y'all, a lot of black pepper. I love a lot of black, black pepper in my eggs, so we're going to take it, put some black pepper in there. I don't know about you, but that's what I like, all right? Now, we're going to wait till this thing fry up and do its business. I got my heat turned up onto medium high heat if you want to jazz it up a little bit turn it up to high heat let it cook yes indeed i'm telling you right now the best fried eggs in the whole wide world right here right here y'all don't miss it watch for this madness to take place i guarantee you if you fry these eggs in the morning time in the noonday in the midnight hour somebody gonna look at you and say wow these were the best fried eggs sandwich that i've ever had in my whole entire life i'm gonna show you the secret and here is the secret ray mac styles way if you try this recipe do me a favor share this recipe on your instagram facebook and twitter social media sites tell them that ray mac shows you how to make the best fried eggs in the whole wide world take a picture share it with your boy ray mac y'all look here we bubbling now we're doing it's, it's about to do its thing yes Mm-hmm. We're going to let it keep going. Yes, yes. Watch it. Now, we're going to take our egg and flip it. As you can see, it is firmed up on the edges or whatever the case may be. And as you can see that butter, the butter still in there. Now, we're going to go ahead and flip this baby. That's what we want right there. I'm showing you how to make the best fried egg in the world. Check it out, y'all. So we just want to let this cook right on through on the other side. Then we're going to take this and transfer it to a plate. Yes, a plate. Now we're going to go ahead and move our egg to the side because this baby is done. All right. The next thing we're going to do with this butter that's left right here. This is what I'm going to do, y'all. Look at me now. Check me out. I'm going to go ahead and take me in some more butter. About a little bit. Melt it. Now, while I got this in the air, 
I'm not putting my pan back on the eye. I want to take some of this here seasoning that I showed you earlier, and I just want to sprinkle it right in there in that bowl, in that butter. Yes, don't be scared. Just put some in there. All right. Then we're going to take some more of that other seasoning, which is the garlic bread seasoning. Sprinkle it in there. We're making some of the best, the best fried egg sandwiches in the world. And then we're going to take our bread. Look here, y'all. Mm-hmm. Take it. Flip it. Flip it. Take our other one. Can't do nothing with it yet. Okay. Get it in there. Flip it. Don't worry about it. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Toast these babies up. Let them toast up. It'll be all right. The best fried egg sandwich in the world. Let me show you how to make the best fried egg sandwich in the whole wide world. Remax style. Then we're going to flip that baby. Then we're going to flip that baby. Then we're going to flip that baby. Then this is what we're going to do. Gonna take us some cheese. This is the best fried egg sandwich in the world. You will love it. Everybody else will. It's time to take a bite out of the best fried sandwich in the whole bad world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.